Hello, I'm Zaki Rashid. Welcome to Matters of Opinion. Federal judges across the country have begun reviewing prison sentences of thousands of men and women jailed on crack cocaine charges. Many inmates could be released or see their sentences sharply reduced. Congress voted last year to ease federal sentencing guidelines for crack cocaine, but a decision this summer to revisit old drug cases has sparked serious controversy. In the 80s, when the crack epidemic was raging, Congress reacted by setting penalties for crack cocaine that were 100 times more severe than the penalties for cocaine in its powdered form. Because crack cocaine was cheaper and far more pervasive in the black community, the vast majority of convictions involved African Americans, and many were sentenced to be locked up for decades. Critics pointed out that white Americans who generally used or sold powdered cocaine drew far shorter sentences. The American Civil Liberties Union points out that mandatory sentences for crack are still 18 times more severe than for powdered cocaine. Last year, Congress passed a bill easing crack sentences. The Fair Sentencing Act affects all future crack cocaine convictions, but over the summer, the United States Sentencing Commission voted to unanimously make the new crack guidelines retroactive. So now, as many as 12,000 people, some of them former crackheads, are eligible to request that their prison sentences be sharply reduced. Federal judges will now decide on a case-by-case -case basis whether shorter sentences are appropriate and whether early release could pose a risk for public safety. You think? In my opinion, the only fair way to deal with this problem is to treat them and punish them in the same manner. Whether you smoke or sniff it, it's still cocaine. And if it's illegal, it's illegal. Well, that's my opinion. What's yours? Email me at zrashid at villagetv.org, and you can view this segment again and leave your comment on YouTube if you place Z.A. Rashid in the search box. We're now on Facebook as well. I'm Zaki Rashid with Matters of Opinion.